program uh, put on to today to mark our 36th installation.
walked through the front door and your grandma had dumped all the clutter from your room on the floor of the entryway. I chuckle every time I think about that. I'm so proud of you, though, and your accomplishments in this uh, community of Laguna Niguel, and I congratulate you on a job well done, my angel girl. So at this time, with the 2017 uh, Board of Directors, They'll split the room into three sections, and you know what? This is the, the Laguna Niguel Chamber, and we always have to have a song. Laguna Niguel, 
We do balance our budget. We are very fiscally conservative, and we have money in the bank. <laughs> Yay! have a resolution commending you for your service as the 2017 Chairwoman of the Board of the Laguna Niguel Chamber of Commerce. Sherry Hodges, representing Diane Harkey for the State Board of Equalization. On behalf of Diane Harkey, Chairwoman of the State Board of Equalization, she wants to ask me to personally thank you so very much for all the work you've done and the help that you've given to the businesses in this community and this entire region and what an asset you've been for the past year and in the past for all your leadership. Thank you very much to helping the business community and the entire region and your dedication to leadership. Thank you. State, State Legislature, it's being presented by Rhonda Reardon, representing Senator Pat Bates, the 36th Senatorial District, and by Ann Figueroa, representing Assemblyman Bill Grove, 73rd Assembly District. On behalf of Assemblyman Bill Grove, and he can't be here today, but he wanted to extend his congratulations on your outstanding year as Chairman of the Board of the Good Health Chamber. Congratulations. I'm Patricia C. Bates and Assemblymember William P. Grove that they take great pride in joining with the members of the Good Miguel Chamber of Commerce in congratulating you on the resounding success of your term, your 2017 term, as chair of the board of directors, and they convey their best wishes for a future for her continued success. And we are certain that it will be because I'm going to be down with your vote. <laughs> Next, we'd like to have Rick Regal representing the Laguna Niguel Chamber of Commerce. Rick, if you please come forward. Melinda, what can I say? Remarkable job this year. You've uh, left the chamber in great shape. Thank you, because I'm the one who's got to take over, so I really do appreciate that. On behalf of a very grateful board, I'd like to, to present you with 20K. I'd like to present an absolutely beautiful gavel. I want to do more than present this. I want to show it and try not to drop it. This is a gavel presented to Melinda. It doesn't go on your wall, it goes on your desk. On behalf, again, of the chamber and the board and of all the volunteers. Okay, hey, we just want to say congratulations to Melinda. Now she does have a lot of wall swag, and and uh, and I know her husband. I know Jim. We're going to say, do not nail these in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's now time for Melinda to turn over the gavel to the the new incoming chair. So Melinda, I think this is all yours. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> is a symbol of authority and the, <laughs> and the right to act officially in the capacity of chairman or presiding officer. I am passing this gavel to you <laughs> in front of many witnesses. You will be officially in charge as soon as the mayor comes up to swear you in as the board of directors. If we could bring up Elaine Genway and she's going to officially swear in the board of directors. If you could please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. Do we have funny names here? <laughs> Promise to support and enhance the Laguna Niguel Chamber of Commerce. As you have taken this oath in front of the members and friends, I confirm that you are the official representatives of the Laguna Yale Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations, all of you. Uh, I'm anxious to start this year. I have a great board of directors. I have Debbie, nothing could go wrong when she's there. <laughs> you heard the song. <laughs> to join the Rusty Gavel group. So I know that's gonna take some time, but uh, looking forward to a great year. And with all that said, and in uh, respect for your time, 
Um, I just, again, want to thank Melinda for, for a job well done last year's board and uh, excited to get started for this year. And I'll hand this back over to Dwayne. Well, as has been said probably numerous times today that Debbie really hates to get off the schedule and you, know, you definitely don't go off the script. So this time everyone keep an eye on Debbie because I'm about to go off script. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to ask Rick Van Alstein to uh, come forward. It's with uh, Rusty Gavel, and they have a special presentation today. And, uh, you know, Debbie doesn't know about Look at Debbie. <laughs> I, you know, I'm a past board member. I love doing this, too. <laughs> I have a last presentation to make that uh, Debbie uh, does not know about. And Diane doesn't know about either. So, Diane, you come up here, too, and be on script. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier in my remarks, we uh, mentioned that uh, the past presidents and chairpersons uh, have the Rusty Gavel Group, and besides uh, organizing the milestone anniversaries to commemorate the Chamber of Commerce, we also collectively and individually get together, either by email or over a drink or two, and think about the Chamber and ponder things as we retired presidents do. We just sit there and go, hmm, what should we do next? And one of the things that we uh, collectively said was uh, how impressed we were with the representation of both Diane and Debbie uh, of the chamber, not only to other chamber members, but to the community uh, at large and, and the interaction with the city. And so with that, we want to just say thank you to the both of them. Uh, we'll start Deb with Debbie, with um, being a fantastic person as COO. We, we've had her for 20 some odd years, as Melinda mentioned, and um, we are just one heck of a, a, a lucky Chamber of Commerce to have had her for so long. We want to say thank you and recognize you for a job well done throughout the years in representing the chamber to everybody at large. And so with that in mind, we have, bag. We have two <laughs> things, more bags. We have two things. One is, uh, with due respect to the uh, Monarch Beach Resort, which is a beautiful resort, but uh, Debbie works so darn hard that we know that if we got her something having to do the, with the resort, she wouldn't get away. She might go, be on her phone, not relax, or something, so we had to send her away. So we're sending her away to um, Carlsbad. <laughs> Not nicely. So just far enough away where she can feel like she's uh, away. And, um, and so we have gotten her two, two days, one night at the Omni Resort, La Costa Resort in, in Carlsbad. The VIP treatment, you are going to be a, a, a room, spa treatment, and dinner at the on-site restaurant of uh, Bob's, uh, Bob's Steakhouse, or well, well, no. So we want you to, as a destination resort to get there early, stay late, drink, you're not driving, you're just gonna stay on property. Uh, they are giving you the VIP treatment. And so, Debbie, if you wanna step up for one second, what I just said. This part is from the Omni Resort. Uh, uh, I'm gonna come to you. <laughs> they want to give you the VIP treatment, you know, so you'll check in with the VIPs, and as a start, they have provided this story on, on prepared, so I want you to go ahead and open that now and be prepared for when you try to conduct <laughs> Thank you, and Debbie's such a great one. 
Thank you.